I'm on my way to Proust and finally we made it even though it was such a challenge getting there. The place was absolutely stunning. Aside from this shop being super clean in its aesthetic, I got to create my own personalized perfume. With the first step of creating my perfect personalized perfume, I had seven different fragrances to choose from for my base. I ended up going with the mystery scent. After choosing my base, the perfumer gave me around six to seven samples to test to layer on top of my base. Here I am testing out the various fragrances and at this point, I started to categorize which fragrances I like the most and which fragrances I like the least. At this point, I had a pretty good idea of what I wanted my perfect perfume to smell like, something kind of tropical and sweet at the same time. The vibes of this shop were super relaxing and super calming. Also, it didn't hurt that they were playing some music from the Twilight soundtrack. I don't know if they knew that, but I was definitely enjoying myself and the mood definitely fit the music. At this point, I had finally made a selection of the various fragrances that I wanted to layer on top of my base, and here I am just writing it down for the perfumer to help me out in terms of all the mathematics. I have a newfound respect for chemists because in order to create my perfect fragrance, I had to make sure that I wasn't over or under in terms of the perfect percentages for each fragrance. In stage three, here I am putting in the desired amount of each fragrance into a beaker so that it can be placed perfectly into my perfume bottle. Pouring everything out till the last drop. This fragrance smelled super lush, super tropical, but it wasn't overwhelming. And I wish I was able to film the reaction of the perfumer because she was in awe of the scent that we had created and I loved it so much. So I just came back from Proust. I came back to the hotel because I felt a little like wet from the rain outside so I wanted to change into something comfortable for today um, so I'm just wearing my Lululemon sweater and my Lululemon leggings and so the perfume making workshop at Proust was amazing like the lady was so nice uh, she helped me find my perfect scent that I wanted to create oh so I think the scent that I went for I didn't even give it a name but it's like very kind of tropical with a hint of like vanilla so it's very subtle but it's also sweet i will link that down below so if anyone wanted to try it out if they come to korea it's a great thing you should do and a lot of people were coming in so it's definitely a popular activity in seoul and now i'm gonna head out and try to get some food because i'm starving I walked into this random bakery called Red Apple. Here is their merchandise and stickers and notepads full of their Red Apple logo. I ended up just getting a double chocolate chip cookie on the right of the screen. So since I can't decide on what I want to eat, I got this double chocolate chip cookie from Red Apple. So hopefully it tastes good because I'm starving right now and I don't know where to eat. So the cookie is good. It's a little dry. I think it would be better if it was just like fresh out of the oven. Then it would be like super gooey and really good. But still, I will give it like a 7 out of 10. I finally made it to the Samoya Dog Cafe and I was super excited about this experience because I had seen it all over TikTok and Instagram and the dogs were so adorable and super fluffy and so i spent some time upstairs took some photos and just enjoyed the experience aside from the dogs being super fluffy and adorable they were well trained and super affectionate so any worries i had about visiting my first ever dog cafe were totally put aside and i was able to enjoy this amazing experience I 
I finally made my way downstairs to see the rest of the dogs and the employees were playing with the dogs and everyone was just having a laugh and just awing so much because the dogs were all so cute. Now I'm not afraid of dogs but the dog in the next clip was so big and tall that it reminded me of the wolves in Twilight and in the next clip I just took a bunch of photos of the dogs because they're so cute and just documenting my experience. <laughs> been in Korea I've been craving fried chicken and crispy chicken sandwiches I don't know why but I haven't been let down with any of the fried chicken or sandwiches that I've been eating and this sandwich right here was super delicious so I was happy to stumble upon this fried chicken shop At this point I was enjoying the food and chomping down on the french fries because they're super crunchy. There was a huge window in front of me so I was just doing some people watching. My feet were killing me at this point because the blisters that I had from the beginning of my trip didn't fully heal so I ended up going back to the hotel and resting for the end of the night. See you guys in the next vlog. Bye!